Hello everyone and welcome. Today I will show you how to automate some things with Python on the web. For this example I will use the Python request package. I will leave the link to the documentation in the description and you can install it. Here are a few examples. For this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use it to log into a website see if it's working first As you can see it's printing the request so the package is working fine now first let's create an account using a temporary email now let's try to log in using web requests but first let me show you one that's most accessible so you inspect elements and then go to network here you should have this open also there must be another settings pres preserve logs then you just click thing end and look for the request that logged you in Usually it's a post request, as you can see. Here is the payload and so on. And now we can just translate this to the request library or there is another website called TrioWorks. And if you have a CURL command, you can transform it in a Python requests. But if you do this for an important site, I won't recommend doing it like this. But for this, as it's a test, I'm going to show you how it's done. So just go to copy and copy as CURL. Paste it here. And as you can see, you have it as a Python requests. So let me select all and copy. Let's create a function and let's call it from main. It's probably we don't need the cookies. Okay, let's see if it's working. Uh, yeah, it's working fine. So let me explain what I just did. So first I run the script and the argument I means that after the script is run, I will get an interactive shell. So I can make sure everything is working fine. If it's not working, I can see why. Okay, let's do it again. As you can see, if I print the first 100 chars from the response, you can see it's the HTML code. It's the same that you get here. Actually, here because this, this is redirecting me to this web page as you can see from the status okay and uh, also i saw that here is my account when you log in here is the response without the css so that's pretty much how it's done it's a very simple example i'm going to explain line by line more or less so you can understand it better but this website is very useful in my opinion as you can just copy paste and learn from the website you want to automate but I don't recommend pasting your info here I just did it so because it's not that important also I don't recommend pasting your cookies here as I don't know if this website keeps the logs or not. For example, let me show you how you could change this. 
Okay, so the cookie is here. Can just delete it. Also, here you can remove this with something like replace me and same with the password. And you will still get the same results, but your info will be safe. But do this before pasting it here in your text editor. Now let's go through the code once again and maybe make some changes. Okay, first let me show you why I know this is logged in. If you take a look here, you can see my account and this is present only if, when you are logged in. So if we check, As you can see my account is present in response where the response is the result from login okay so let's go to this once again cookies we don't have any for now the headers just your basic browser headers you can change the user agent everything else should be the same for most websites you may change the origin or referral. The parameters are the URL parameters and the data is what it sent. The post request is sent to the website. Here we have the email password and two other custom things that the website require probably for their internal use to be able to log in, log you in. Actually, we don't get any cookies because we didn't use a session because the cookies are set here and we don't have any response cookies here so let's try with sessions we can keep the cookies usually you will do this in a class action let do this in a class time it should work fine as you can see the cookie is here the authentication cookie and if you went this far let's try to do something else on this site uh, this is a pretty basic example let's try to get the order history Let's check if the user has any order history and return throw or else false. So this is the second method of doing this. It's a bit harder than using this website, but you have more control. Of course, you can also edit the code after you get it from this website. And for beginners, I think this is a great resource. Even I use it a lot of times when 
I don't want to check everything manually and usually I end up with less bugs when I use this because it's very fast. As you can see now it's returning false, which means that we don't have any orders yet. Yeah, that's about it for today. Thank you for watching. If you watch all the way through here, you can click the like button if you like this video or dislike if you didn't. Also, if you would like to see more videos about HTTP web requests and Python, you can leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching, have a great day, bye bye.